You arrived just in time. And good thing, because this sketch promises to be a stable of excitement. A chest-tightening look at preparations for the impending arrival of Her Majesty the Queen. Amidst the pomp and circumstance, and the uh, stress, we'll squeeze in some memorable symbols about stable angina, a form of ischemic chest pain. Before we roll out the red carpet, keep in mind that ischemic chest pain exists on a spectrum, ranging from reversible ischemia to irreversible infarction. Clinically, we separate stable angina from acute coronary syndrome, which includes unstable angina, and STEMI, and STEMI. So, yeah, the stakes are royally high to identify ischemic severity and the urgency to intervene. A thorough workup is key. Speaking of workup, we've brought back our blacksmith, who's really working up a sweat, hastily preparing for Her Highness's arrival. He's pounding away at this anvil, Sketchy's symbol for angina, and he's clutching his chest because angina is defined as chest discomfort due to myocardial ischemia, which occurs when myocardial oxygen demand exceeds supply. Uh, might want to go easy with that hammer. Your patients probably aren't forging daggers for royalty, but someone's going to walk into your ED or office complaining of chest pain. Anginal chest discomfort often presents as a heavy squeezing sensation, and if you're dealing with stable angina, then it's likely episodic, lasting less than 15 minutes, and reproducible with exertion or stress. This rather short sword, being forged with great labor for the queen, is a reminder of these short episodes. While generally substernal, anginal type pain may also radiate to the left arm, neck, and lower jaw, just as this fireplace radiates a warm glow on the blacksmith's left side. And it looks like there's no cozier place than by the fire. Stable angina improves with rest or with nitroglycerin, which explains why this comfy canine resting with his nitro bone won't be budging anytime soon. Keep in mind that patients might present with less specific symptoms too, like dyspnea, diaphoresis, and nausea. And some patients may not fit the classic description at all. Atypical presentations of myocardial ischemia, which include weakness or breathlessness, are more common in older patients, people with diabetes, and people who are assigned female at birth. Hence this older stable worker with a diabetic candy hair tie, looking a bit winded 